It rains every other day from October to Jan and you can air your clothes for two days and it doesn't dry completely. Then it develops an odd smell. This is when you got to rewash everything. So I really appreciate a laundry system with a drying function. And this is the laundry system, the Alpha series from Steigen. It circulates hot air around the rack to dry up the clothes at a temperature of 60 degrees and an inbuilt ionizer that removes airborne allergens such as pollen, bacteria and dust mites while eliminating musty odors on clothes. Good timing for this video because I had the chance to test this somewhere in November and some of you asked me this question, does it really dry up the clothes during the wet season? Uh, which is the monsoon period year end? My answer is yes, and I'll give you two scenarios with estimates. On a rainy day without the solar function, it really takes very long to dry, maybe even two days, and it's not even completely dry. But with the solar function, it dries up in like four to five hours. But on a normal day, that means like sunny weather, normal temperature, without the solar function, it takes uh, six hours approximately to dry but with the solar drying function it takes within three to four hours to dry but take note that jeans and jackets uh, take a bit more time and the closer it is to the heater the faster it will dry so when you hang clothes the bottom part will always dry the slowest because it's the furthest away from the heat and one of you asked me this interesting question does it have the sun dried smell um, close enough but not exactly the same, you know, you get UV rays from the sun but on this, there's no UV, it uses something different called ultrasonic waves to repel the dust mite from breathing on your laundry. And there's not one day that I miss the old system, in fact, I hate it. There's a tuck tuck sound when I move it, and when I pull it at the wrong angle and one day it just broke and dropped all the way down. So the old pulley system has a max load of 25 kilo and yet it couldn't handle the full wash load from my washing machine because last time when I did that, the whole thing dropped a few times before it finally broke loose but now with the new alpha system, it can handle up to 50 kilos and it's fully motorized I can wash all my bed sheets and there's not one time that this thing fell freely and so far in the last 6 months, the whole experience has just been more than wonderful on the controller, you can activate the solar drying function, cool air, anti-dust mite, and also different light tones. So you don't need another light in your service yard anymore, you can just use this. Okay, on the app, you have very similar functions to the controller, but slightly more. For example, on the app, you can schedule the timer to be 1 hour, 2 hours or 3 hours because sometimes the weather is really good outside and maybe you just need like 1 hour of solar drying and maybe leave it the rest to the weather to dry it up or you can change it to cool air and then one hour so you can create an automation and then you can add this automation to Siri so Siri is the voice assistant on iPhone and if you have the home port you can just talk to Siri for example hey Siri on solar alpha okay, and it's on Okay, the next thing that I want to show you is the obstacle recovery. So when it lowers down and it hits an obstacle, for example, my head, it will retract back by 5 cm because of the smart sensor. And it's definitely enough even for a full wash load because I've been doing this for months. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I hang clothes. Let's lower this thing down. And did I say about this part that you can extend from both sides? And there's this part here that you can lower down to hang your bed sheets. I did change my habit on how I hang clothes. Initially, I didn't get used to it. But uh, after six months, you know, I got used to the new style, which is I will hang the smaller pieces in the middle. The bigger ones, I will put it on a hanger. And then we'll hang here. So one of you asked me this really important question is uh, will the clothes be crumpled? And it really depends on how you hang. So if you want to hang uh, a piece of cloth like this, right? Maybe you can just shake it before you hang. And when the hot air goes through and dry it, right, it will be just nice and straight. Of course, you know, it's still not the kind that you just iron it. Uh, it's, it's still better than if you hang it like this. Of course, it will be crumpled. 
Okay, so I have some issues with the Steigen. No doubt it's good, but you know, definitely there are some things that I'm not used to. For example, uh, when I hang all my clothes on and when it's ready to be taken down, I will lower the Steigen rack uh, and I have to be physically here to stop it because there's no prefix. I can't say, you know, like I want it to stop at 90 cm or 100 cm. There's no prefix. I have to be here physically to stop it. So. Steigen did give me some solutions. For example, on the app, I can create automation that it will, it will launch the thing down five seconds later, and then it will stop. So I can do that automation, but uh, I just don't use the app more than I use the manual controls. And I definitely see this as an improvement for resale homes. You know, if you don't have this laundry system, you're still using the Teco system, which is very dangerous, you know, for you to bend out of the window to hang your laundry, you know, for old folks, for your helper, for yourself, and then leaving the windows open, it's very dangerous for kids as well. So if you have this thing, it's easier to hang clothes. And you can also use the solar drying, you can keep the windows closed. And even for new BTOs, the pulley system is not, it's not as stable as you want it to be. So if you can get this change in the beginning of your stay that will be good but if you don't mind waiting for the pulley system to be spoiled then you change that's an option as well so yeah that's kind of it for this video <laughs> if any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye